Sorry, we're going to go through uh, just general observatory entry, exit, and some other aspects of the dome itself. And then in another video, we'll cover uh, telescope and telescope operations. So we're looking at the front of the dome. Uh, the shutter's closed, the door's behind. I've got a couple of pins here on the side sticking out. We haven't put those in. Uh, these may or may not be in all the time, but these pins, uh, if you're planning on high winds, I would have them in. Uh, they keep the shutter, really lock the shutter down. Really right now, the shutter's not gonna go anywhere. There's steel cables on the inside holding it down, uh, but under super high winds, this pushed in all the way uh, will lock the shutter in place. So you need to remember to remove that. If they're in place, you need to remember to remove them. If you try to open the shutter uh, with them in, uh, something's gonna break, uh, either fiberglass or steel cables, uh, but it won't be a good thing. So uh, I'm gonna pull these out, even though they're not actually attached. When they are attached, they will be in all the way. In other words, just the ring will be hanging out. Okay, I put those where I can find them. There's a key right here. Horizontal is off. Uh, vertical is a command. So when I turn this vertical, I will hear a beep. And then I'm going to wait till a series of beeps. And when that happens, I will turn it off. And that will automatically open the shutter all the way. So here we go. Hopefully we can hear the beeps. And there we go. We heard the series of continuous beeps. Turn it back off. We're in the horizontal position and the shutter is going to open. You do not need to worry about stopping anything. If you needed to stop the dome for some reason, uh, something looks like it's going wrong, turn the key then again to the uh, vertical position. So we hear that warning sign. It's going to automatically shut off and then I can turn it off. If I need to continue, this is going to reverse direction and close. So we might edit this out, but I'll get it back to the state where it's opening. Okay, ready to open again from our uh, example on how to stop. So to the right, multiple beeps and there we are back in the opening so what I did in the interim is um, I let it close a little bit stopped it again and then it it reverses uh, when there's an abort so it goes in the opposite direction there is at the very back of the dome a limit switch so you don't need to worry about stopping the dome it will do it or the shutter it will do it automatically so um, up here on the left, you see a little uh, white box and there's a corresponding white box at the back. It's a magnetic sensor. When it gets close to each other, it'll automatically stop. There we go. And it's gonna coast a little bit to uh, a complete stop. So to enter the dome, there is the door here, but there's also this ring. This ring must always be latched. If it is not latched, the shutters tend to spread apart and then the dome falls off the wall. So that would be a bad thing too. And uh, so to unlatch, uh, a two-step process. We will first unlatch it here and then hopefully we can catch this on the video. On the inside, I've got this latch here and then I'm going to pull down a handle and then there's this bar and there's uh, a bolt at the bottom. Pull that up. And then we can open both of these simultaneously. They just swing out. And we'll just put that back in. Inside the dome, this is the dome control box. Uh, it's all set up, uh, ready to be used. There are 
switches in there that change the operation. There's an off switch, a local switch, and a remote switch. Right now we're on remote. Um, off just means uh, I can just operate the dome when I'm inside with the hand controller. Local means I can open it outside or be in here, but if I have a computer, I can't get to it. And then in remote mode, I can operate it in here with the hand controller, or I can open it outside just like we did. And I can also operate it from the computer. I can tell the computer can instruct the dome to like open the shutter, close the shutter, uh, home itself, and uh, do everything you need to do for a totally robotic uh, observatory. Uh, on the side of the box, there's also a power switch, an on-off switch. Uh, this is both the computer control and uh, a power supply. So we've got uh, AC power coming in, but everything coming out, all this stuff over here is just 12 volt DC. So low voltage uh, in the mix. So if you touch something, you won't have to worry about uh, getting an electrical shock. Uh, so this right here is a rotation motor. This thing down here, it was not plugged in because we we're doing some wiring. There we go. This is a sensor. So as the dome rotates, the sensor keeps track of where the dome is at and that can allow the dome to slave itself to the motion of the telescope. We have another uh, rotation motor over here. And then in the back, these are contactor uh, pads and sliders. Uh, essentially, they are transferring power up here to the shutter motor. So the shutter will only open and close when it's in the home position. So right now we are in home. When we're in the home position, we can enter the dome. We can only enter or exit the dome when we're in the home position. Uh, So this needs to be in uh, this state uh, to be able to power the shutters. This is the relay box that automatically lets the shutter stop when it's either fully open or fully closed. And there's the shutter motor over there. So after entering the dome, uh, we have the door open. We never want to leave the door in this state. So the first thing we should do is close everything up. Um, if I grab my little handle here and pull up, that pulls the bolt back down on the floor. We can swing everything closed. Let's give this a little up and a tug. Outside here, I want to push that in, make sure our latch is catching right there. And then it pulls itself closed. This bar then swings up. And once it's swung in place, do the latch, flip it shut. Uh, there's the bolt on the bottom, you can give it a little tug and it'll snap into place. So now we're all uh, safely locked in. So to exit, we're going to reverse the process uh, from entry. I'm going to flip this open and then pull the bar down. And then on the outside, flip the latch so it disengages and pull it back so it won't catch when we're opening. And then finally, if we pull up this handle, it'll remove the bolt down at the bottom and we'll swing everything out. And not to be redundant, but one last time. So to close up, I'm gonna grab the handle, pull up. Uh, there I am, I'm latched in. Slide that into place, clip, drop it, and I make sure I'm hooked, and we pull ourselves tight. And then if we want to close the shutter, which we, we should probably do, because it looks like rain, uh, just the same as opening it. If it's fully open, uh, when we go through the procedure, it will fully close. So over here, again, on our key, turn it horizontal. Continuous beeps, turn it back, and there we go, shutter's closing. Uh, the cables here are just basically feeding in and out uh, wire, uh, pulling the shutter closed. You will notice it gets to a certain point and it seems to slow down, uh, nothing to worry about. There are 
there's a front shutter, which we have right here, and then there's a top shutter. Uh, in a second, we'll see the latching mechanism. When the uh, top shutter latches in, uh, you can see it coming right here. Now the motors are pulling two shutters at once, and so uh, it's a little bit more uh, work for the motors and uh, tends to slow things down. Like on the open process, there is no need to uh, stop anything uh, unless you forgot something you need to run back in real quick. You can do what we did to stop uh, closure. But this will go until it hits uh, its limit switch and automatically shut off. There we go. Uh, leave the key there, take it out, uh, your choice. I will mention one thing now that everything's closed up. Out here on the side, you see this steel cable up here. That is a shutter restraint system. It's just meant so that when the dome is fully open, uh, high winds come along unexpectedly, the shutters don't blow away. They're, it's loose. It's not meant to hold the shutter down during a hurricane. It's just meant to keep it from blowing away if we're using uh, the dome and winds come along.